what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Two Florida deputies who were killed when a gunman opened fire through the window of a Chinese restaurant has been named Sergeant Noel Ramirez and Deputy Sheriff Taylor Lindsay met their demise while on duty. At about 3 p.m., father of two, Ramirez, 30, and Lindsay, 25, were eating at the Ace China restaurant in downtown Trenton when the assailant fatally shot them before turning the weapon on himself. Not surprisingly, Gilhurst County Sheriff Bobby Schultz blamed the deaths on hatred towards law enforcement. What do you expect happens when you demonize law enforcement to the extent it's been demonized? Every type of hate, every type of put down you can think of. The only thing these men were guilty of is wanting to protect you and me. They just wanted to get something to eat and they just wanted to do their job. Donald Trump also put out a tweet calling them heroes. Okay, let's start with the sheriff's remarks. He blamed the deaths on hatred towards law enforcement. In order for you to hate something, there has to be something, some type of emotion that was generated for you to hate it especially when you start talking about hate enough to kill. People are not hating law enforcement out of the blue. This is not just, oh, I hate law enforcement. Oh, like people don't want to be protected. People don't want to feel safe. No, Sheriff. Blame the deaths of those deputies on other deputies all around the country. Blame it on law enforcement, the mentality they have with beating up people, brutalizing people for no reason, gunning down innocent civilians for no reason, gunning down unarmed civilians. The bias that they show when a civilian is killed, how nonchalant they are, how they walk around laughing on the crime scene while the dead body is still laying on the ground still warm, they're laughing and joking and eating. But when a cop gets killed, the world is supposed to stop. It's, oh, the fallen brother. If the cops come from all surrounding counties, some of them fly into town for the funeral, it's a big old show because it's one of our own. That's what they like to say. It's one of our own. Like the citizens ain't shit. Like we don't mean shit. This is one of our own. So this is why we are so emotional because it's one of our own. If it's one of them, it don't matter. It's the us against them mentality. So you can't be surprised when one of us decides to do what y'all do all the time. Murder innocent people. The police created this culture. Dirty cops, crooked cops, and the ones who protect them. The police, the judges, the prosecutors, the juries, the family members, everybody who support and protect them and give them a pass created this environment. Every time a cop gets killed, it ain't the sentiment of hate toward policemen. It's not people just automatically hating the police. What do you expect people to do when the police is doing everything a common criminal does? They're, they're concealing evidence. They're planting evidence. They're killing people. They're raping people. They're selling dope. They're, they're using dope. They're harassing people. They're stalking people. They're doing everything a common criminal does. And you think people are supposed to just suffer in silence like oh don't say nothing we do anything we want to but because we are a cop we are above criticism we cannot be criticized 
because we cops. So you need to respect the badge, even though the badge doesn't respect itself, even though we don't respect ourselves and we don't respect the people. We want the people to respect us. Man, you better get the fuck out of here. That ain't how it go. That's not how life goes. If it's any other profession, nobody has a problem with saying, well, you don't deserve any respect. But because you're a cop and you wear a badge and you got the gun, you're supposed to automatically get respect. It don't work like that. That's fantasy world. That is not how life works. I want to respect the police. I understand that there is a service that police provide that that's some type of level of security that people have, that's some type of order, some type of order that's available when you have police officers. It does deter crime to an extent. But let's not pretend that it stops crime. Let's not pretend that the police is the end all be all. I can tell you this. If law enforcement in America was not so crooked, was not so corrupt, you wouldn't have as much crime as you have. It is the devil standard. It is the bias that people see every single day that makes them say, if they don't follow the rules, why do I have to follow the rules? Generally speaking, most people that I know want to support the police, but it's very hard to support anybody that won't support you. It's very hard to love somebody who don't love you. So when they talk about hatred toward the police, it is the hate that hate produced. When the citizens see the police just driving reckless and running red lights and parking wherever they want to park, blocking fire hydrants and parking in handicapped spots and just because they're police, they go, what? You know, that ain't cool. That's not fair. I know you Johnny Law, but you're still a human being and nobody's above the law. If the police want to restore this dignity, well, they need to get rid of quotas. Stop riding around looking to put cases on people. The police murder innocent citizens out of fear and citizens murder innocent policemen out of retaliation. If the police don't like getting shot at by citizens, they want this hatred to stop or just curve then they need to respect the citizens like the citizens are expected to respect them police need to respect the citizens the citizens need to respect the police but you can't have it both ways you cannot disrespect the people and think you're going to get respect i can guarantee you if Law enforcement respected the citizens of the United States. I can guarantee you that the people would respect the police. Guarantee. Law enforcement seems to forget that the badge is only as good as the people who are willing to respect it or support it. If the people don't respect the badge, then what? No more talk. What the haters talking about?